you, Roy. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, yeah, very good. Roy, this is Billy. Billy, this is Roy. Hey. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Maybe, uh, Roy, maybe give him a, give him a, uh, what do you call this? A, a little bit of your background. Like a, as a physical therapist and using endoscopy. My background? Yeah. Oops. Give me one sec. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Nice. Yeah, I, I actually, uh, Oscar keeps me going every every week. I go through a bunch of my exercises and you know, I come back broken and he fixed me and I leave happy. So he's, he's <laughs> worth his weight in gold. <laughs> so, uh, God, yeah, six, seven years. Yeah, seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Yeah. So I continually, I, I'm, uh, I ride mountain bikes a lot and, uh, a lot of my work is being uh, in a truck for long periods of time and then getting out and exercising really hard and getting back in the truck for an extended period of time. And so that process, he's always, you know, we're just constantly battling that. So, um, yeah. and then I'll go out on the weekend and, and exert myself on my mountain bike and crash or whatever and come back from, with some wounds and I did this and he's like, okay, well, well, let's do this. And so he's always been able to work me back into no pain day, so, which is awesome. Yeah. So, and I actually had a, uh, a snowmobile cyst, which brought me to Oscar. And uh, I had that drained and removed, they, they relieved the pressure, but I had a, I guess a floppy foot where I, I couldn't stand on my foot. It would just flop to the ground. And so yeah. that actually, uh, that surgery and the recovery and brought me to Oscar and he uh, it the process went quick I mean I was back pretty quick after that and they were saying you know oh you know, it'll come back you know I'm like well I really want it to come back quickly <laughs> I don't know I'm not a patient person so but he brought me back pretty quick so I've uh, been with him ever since so, yeah that's yeah that's good so today um, Roy uh, Billy has uh, has some impingement in his arm that radiates to the neck and then comes down to the arm to the front, okay? And then uh, along with that, uh, do you have back or knee issues recently? Uh, no, well, back, but yeah. that's always constant. Right, right. Yeah. okay. Yeah, it's just, it, you know, after it, it sitting and doing everything like that it, it aches here in, in my back, lower back and i I've, after the surgery they said i had a lot of arthritis my back, lower back is full of arthritis and so it's always kind of has a little ache to it but um when i seems like I, when i realign myself it, it, the aches tend to go away and it's not as strong so it's nice yes. okay. but, um, i'll get i'll get side I think what you're talking about is like yeah. I'll get like a side pinch to my knee sometimes, right. I, I, um, and it's just I can feel that there's tension there. Right. Um, but I didn't know like maybe even like the stretches I've been doing were the the crossover. Right. All right. Um, you know, I actually did. What I ended up doing was sitting down with a strap. Yeah. And doing the pulse of pressing yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. And it really allevi alleviated. So I, I noticed that I do that and it alleviates the, the lower back completely because right. right. a little bit of tension will, will right. pull on my knees. Right, right, right. But um, okay. that released it. Right. And then I never really had to go back to it. I just right. kind of continued with the exercises right. and it was fine. So, All right. Okay. Um, I just kind of like, why do I do a self fix? <laughs> You're like, don't do that. That's a good thing, yeah, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was totally good. Yes, right? yes, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, so maybe stand here in front of the camera so that Roy can see you and then maybe take a step back a little bit. 
So, Roy, um, again, what's causing uh, the issue in the, in the left shoulder that goes into the neck, you can see there's a little bit of an offset from the head and that um, almost like the shoulder on the right has dropped down just a little bit. And yeah. you can see that just from the hand position. And then the knees. Yeah, you hit. Um, so one is, one aligns, the right side aligns with the foot and then the left side, the left knee is a little bit pointed out, okay? And so when I palpate his hips, okay? So his his right hip is anterior, so it's tilted down. So he doesn't have he doesn't have a rotation other than the pelvic disparity of that tilting forward like that. Okay? So I think that imbalance in the hip is working its way all the way up to the shoulder. On the left side, so it's more of a cross pattern. Okay. Right, right hip, left shoulder. Left shoulder, right. Okay. Go ahead and bring your left arm up. I mean, right, right arm up. Okay. So when he brings his right arm up, it, it goes halfway. So it's, it doesn't come fully back, just a partial. Okay, go ahead and bring it down, bring the other arm up. And when he brings his left arm up, then it's balanced. Okay. So there's something that comes from the shoulder and it's coming down through the rib cage here. Okay. Uh, both arms up. Yeah, so when he brings both arms up, it's even. Squeeze your glutes and squeeze your quads. Yeah, okay. So the glutes are strong, but the quads, there's a little bit of a, a misfire where it kind of rotates to the left a little bit. So, so his... Right hip is, if we're looking at the front, it's tilted down on that on the right side, and then it, and when he squeezes his quads, it rotates in this direction. Okay, um, go ahead and walk for us real quick, and then tell me what step feels heavy, what step feels longer. Kind of feels like my right foot's heavy. Right foot's heavy. Yeah. Okay. And then bring your bring your arms up here like this, and then tell me if that changes anything. It's more even. More even. Okay. So getting the thoracic extension by placing both hands or arms up, rebalance his pelvis. So it rebalances gait. Okay. So what do we? Um, the one exercise that has helped him in the past is the arm rotations in static back. But because he's a little bit more active, um, we're gonna try to maybe try to find different loads for to reset his arm in that position. So going through maybe standing, maybe going on static extension, bearing that weight, and then trying to reset the shoulder position there. Yeah, so. Yeah, so why don't we start here? So let's have you stand here at the by the wall, facing it, um, and then maybe face me, okay? And then yep, and then from there get your feet straight, yep. And then you're gonna take the arm and you're gonna rotate it here, okay? All right. Okay, so. So you can see he has the mobility within the shoulder. And then keep your hand flat to the wall. Open up your fingers. Yep, there we go. Yep, and anchor that a little bit more. Yep, and then rotate. So 60. This is the right shoulder. You gotta do both. Oh. <laughs> Because sometimes the one that feels better could be pulling or not allowing the other one to fall back into the right place. Okay. So we got to make sure that they're both equal. Okay, switch, switch, other side. And 
Again, get your feet straight. Yep. And then rotate. Yep. Feels good. Maybe I lost you, Roy. I'll call you right back. Good. Walk around. <laughs> Actually, feels really good. <laughs> okay, Roy. Sorry. I'm yeah, all better. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Okay. Um, so, go ahead and walk after the exercise, and then tell me how that feels. This, they feel. Or more balanced more balanced and uh, this it, it it still has this one still wants to to hit heavier but right. it's less it's a lot less okay and I feel just a, a tad bit lighter more, taller yeah. yeah okay all right so let's let's check these hips okay so his hips are a little more leveled maybe just like a centimeter for it to go back okay bring your right arm up so when he brings his right arm up, it's stable. Bring it down, bring the other arm up. Both arms up. Yeah, with both arms up, again, it's improved. Okay. Um, let's let's have you do this. Let's have you do arm circles, okay? Uh, but make sure your feet are straight, okay? And then we're gonna do this 60 times, okay? So shoulder blades together, fast circles, and 60 times. Not as smooth on that left side, right? Yeah. Okay, walk. How's that? It's good. I always feel taller, like. Yeah. Chest up and, and okay. like, but the the feet feel the same. Okay. All yeah. Right, so it's tough because I got the yeah, yeah. wound on my leg, yeah, yeah. and so it kind of bites me occasionally. Okay. All right. Okay. So that improved the uh, that the little edge of that we needed to come back. Okay. So so your your hips are balanced now. Bring your right arm up. Much looser, right? Mm -hmm. Other arm. <laughs> yeah. That's rad. Yeah. <laughs> Both arms up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Okay. Um, let's see. Have you? Let's have a seat, and then let's do a set of the knee pillow squeeze. Okay. <clears throat> so, because we have the upper body stabilized now, let's work more into the hip function, so that we can get a little bit more of that foot. Uh, on that right to have a little more contact. Okay, so 60 times. Roll your hip forward, put arch in your low back. Shoulder blades back a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Better. How does that feel? Yeah. That feels equal. Yeah. Yeah. The stride has improved. So his gait feels more balanced. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, good. Bring your right arm up. Okay, good. Other arm. Okay, good. Both arms up. Yeah, so let's get this pretty stable. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Okay. But we have a little bit of a pull still when he squeezes his quads. I could feel it, yeah. actually, when you were sitting there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> the hip flexor on the right could be just a little bit tight. So what we're going to do, well, let's do the sitting uh, isolated hip flexor lift. So okay. sit on the chair, and then you're going to you're gonna take the weight off your heels like this, sit up nice and tall. And then while one leg is stabilizing on its toe, you want to lift the other leg like this, but you want to use the muscles of the hip to lift the knee. Don't bounce off the foot. Okay. Maybe a little higher. Yeah, there we go. 20? 20. 20. So 20, 20, 20, 20. Three sets on each side. Is that harder? Uh, no. The you same. Same? Yeah. I, th this right here, uh -huh. it starts to get tight. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did crash today. You're right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's where this came in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're same, same feel. Okay. It's just uh, my quads are tight because right. I rode hard this morning. Right. So <clears throat> where Billy lives in his area is kind of, there's a lot of woods and forest area, that kind of stuff. And they have these obstacle courses or the, these dirt ramps for their mountain bikes. And so he builds them. <laughs> and so <laughs> they time the bike back. <laughs> I think that's it, yeah. Okay. 60 on both sides, right? Yeah, I did three sets. Right. Actually, this that feels really good. Okay. Describe it. Uh, I feel uh, tall, lifted, kind of light yeah. on my feet. Okay. And how's, it, it, how's the pressure on it, the ball of the leg? Yeah, it, it, heel toe really nice yeah. even. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you heard that, right, right? Oh, oops. Okay, so maybe tell them one more time. Oh, uh, so walking around, I feel tall, kind of kind of lifted, chest up, and uh, as I stepped, it uh, heel toe was real even. It wasn't kind of pop pop. It was very smooth in my pressure. In the glute. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Bring the right arm up. Yeah. This part's Give you do this. Other arm. Okay, both arms up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Okay. So much more stable with the glutes and the quads. There's no rotation when he engages his quads. Um, we're going to continue to maybe reinforce the shoulder position from another load. So let's have you on your hands and knees. And then, yep. So drop your lower back. And then drop your neck, extend your arms fully. What do you mean? Uh, um, yeah, lock them out. Okay. Yep. And then you're, you're in the right position okay. already. Okay. So from here, let's do the chest opener 60 times on both sides. That's okay. Right yeah. So what we did on the wall, oh, do it single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do that here. Okay. Both okay. of them at the same time? Both of them at the same oh, time. Okay. And really drop the head and drop the neck where it just kind of hangs. And then drop your tummy. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Okay. So, and the idea is to try to coordinate it as it rotates, right? You want to rebalance everything so that the right and left articulate the same and that you feel, you feel even pressure from both right and left arm supporting the back and shoulders, okay? Try to get the hips relaxed so that 
the only thing working should really just be the rotators of that shoulder. Oh, there you go, that's right. What number are we at? Uh, I tell you, 30. Okay, 30 more. What time is it now in Norway? Nine PM. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come on up. Come back around. So I hit it. <laughs> All right. No good now. Nope. Oh, sorry. My stuff's That's everywhere. Good. Dole, have a seat. Yeah. What is this? I forgot the phone. Uh, it's three, three, two, one, five. It feels good. Okay. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't change much. I, uh, it was nice because it stretched kind of my back and chest a little. More open? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So stable, bring your right arm up. Okay, bring it down and bring the other arm up. Both arms up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads. Okay, let's continue in that same position. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Same amount. Uh, and then instead of hold, just uh, hold there in the arms, and then we're going to place this in between the feet. Okay. Okay. And squeeze them. And then squeeze them 60 times. So again, relax the lower back, drop the head, drop the neck. Okay. And engage the feet. 60 repetitions here. And again, Roy, just to lock him in, lock his hip into this position because he had a little bit of a foot issue with the, with the toe, the squeezing of the ankles and the whole inside of the foot will help uh, strengthen the foot a little bit more. Okay. How's that? Yeah, <laughs> I like that. How's the neck and shoulder? They feel good. Okay. They feel stretched, like because they were tightening up. Yeah. It feels, yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. This way. Okay. Bring your right arm up. Okay, reach for your other arm. Both arms up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. And then, um, how does the neck and shoulder feel? It feels good. I, there's like there's no tension yeah. at all. I don't okay. feel any kind of tingling pain or anything. Right. No ache. Right. So coming in here, I feel an achy. Right. So okay. It feels really good. Okay. Um, it's just that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, kind of any any kind of out here right. weight. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's where it zaps me. Okay. But it's it's been getting stronger and stronger. I just right. clear out. Okay. Things. Let's do that upper spinal floor twist, the one where we're laying on our side like this, okay. and then open up. Okay. okay. So. Yep. And let's get you to the right side first. Right side. Right side. Yeah. So bring this so that it's parallel. Yep. Right there. Okay. And then rotate all the way back. And it's just this one, right? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Back in the day, that touched. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see him, Roy? No. Okay. Come on, Fred, it's all. <laughs> Can you see him now? Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Okay. So. As he rotated, he had a little bit of a, an adjustment in the back. It popped maybe three times. And then we still give him some time to get the shoulder and the elbow and the wrist to align onto the floor. Billy, if you can take a couple of deep breaths for me. Yeah, yeah. Really try to inhale and open up that thoracic cavity through breathing and getting the lungs to assist with helping the muscles rotate into the floor. Yep, okay. 
What do you feel the tension here? I feel a little bit in my uh, the side of my shoulder. Mm -hmm. That kind of transfers up towards my neck a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's tender. Okay. The longer that we sit here, do you feel that pull on the neck dissipating or increasing? Go ahead and rotate to the other side. And maybe uh, switch, put your head on this side so that you can see the, okay. yep, right there. Uh, nope. What? Don't flip onto the other side. Oh, oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why does this feel comfortable? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So he had a couple of adjustments rotating in, into the position. And so you can see that the arm on the right side is a little bit more higher off the floor than the left. So there's a little bit more, you feel tightness in the chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a little more tightness in the chest on this side compared to the other. My leg wants to twitch. Which one, the right or left? The right. Do you feel anything pulling inside the groin? Mm -hmm. Okay. On the outside of the leg. This one released a yeah. lot faster. Yeah. So on this side, the arm was able to contact the floor, the wrist, the, and a little bit of the elbow or forearm, but there's still a bit of space between the shoulder. So he's not really getting the full rotation just yet, but at least a lot of the tension through the arm is releasing. Come on up and walk around. <clears throat> oh, yeah. How does uh, that feel? Yeah, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> but, okay. um, so good? Yeah. Feels good. Okay. It, it uh, feels nice in my back. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, okay. Freed it up a little bit yeah. more. Okay. So <clears throat> that took off some of the tension in his lower back. Okay. So it tends to get a little achy. Right. Okay. So bring your right arm up. Yep. We lose your other arm. Okay. Both arms up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Okay. So let's do one more. Okay. Let's have you stand and then press the pillow between your knees. Okay. And this one. All right, just standing thing? Yep. And make sure your feet are straight. A little more. Yep. And try to get it so that your heel toe are con in contact and then you're standing straight up. And then bring your arms to your side. Yep, and look straight and 60 times. And again, this is just to strengthen his, reinforce his hip. And if there was any kind of discrepancy, maybe through the pelvic floor because of that foot not landing on the right toe correctly, that will help kind of stabilize it a little bit more from that perspective. Okay. Yeah, it feels really good. Okay. Lighter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it feels lighter. So that means there's more stability in his hip and that it's creating the, the legs to work more freely without having to compensate for balance because his hip is balancing. Okay. And his step is soft. And his step feels soft. Yeah. So that means his hip flexor and his glute are now coordinated. 
Okay. That's cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I usually leave. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. Bring your right arm up. Amateur. Yeah, Bring your other arm up. Okay. Good. Both arms up. Cue the glutes. All right. That's it. You're rad. Okay. So, ready. Let me put this together for him, Roy, and I'll give you a call back. All right. I have another client right behind him, so. It may take a little bit, okay? Yeah. Okay. All Thank right. you. Nice meeting you. Okay. Nice meeting you. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye -bye. All right. All yeah, right. see, I, I uh, smacked my shin with my pedal. My shoe came off when I was in the air. <laughs>